Thank like you. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Sea Talk. Uh, we're catching up. We have a very exclusive interview today with Greg Deacon. So, um, Greg, just to give everybody a chance to kind of catch up uh, in terms of uh, what you've been up to most recently. So, could you just tell us a little bit more about what you've been up to at the NFRN and what you were doing, perhaps a little bit before that, before we we move on to the exciting news? Yes, I suppose really recently I've been a head teacher at the uh, Deacon School of Learning with my daughter over the past week and a bit. Um, <laughs> that's been difficult, uh, to say the least. I think I'd be an Ofsted poor um, if I was a betting man. Um, lots of downtime, um, too much telly, I think. Um, but in, before that, I've been at the Federation 15 months, I believe, um, Chief Operating Officer of the Federation, um, more formerly known as the NFRN. Um, and basically, my time there was to help develop the federation, build strong partnerships, equip members with uh, ways to save money and make money, make their lives a little bit easier. Um, and obviously that was made more difficult in the sort of extraordinary year that we had with the pandemic um, yeah. last year, which obviously continues now. Um, before that, I spent time at Camelot, um, in sort of sales teams, retail propositions, how to engage with retailers, how to increase sales in store. Um, and I was there for sort of three years. And then before that, I spent sort of 10 years actually in newspaper publishing uh, across both News UK and Telegraph Media Group. Uh, we had okay. a fantastic time with both. I'm just putting a note on here just for anybody who is watching. Hi, um, please feel free to drop Greg any questions or myself. You know, <laughs> we're here to have a chat. Um, Great. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited that you're going to be sharing with us what you're going to be doing next. Could you? I have no drum, so I can't do a drum roll, uh, but super excited. Please, can you share where you are going to be working next? Yeah, well, I also appreciate you dropped the bombshell. This will be live about five minutes before coming on. Um, so look, I'm really pleased, uh, really excited to say that um, I'm going to be joining GISP. Um, which obviously is known to the Sea Talk retailers out there um, through Ilan and the team that have been talking about it previously, and obviously known to the Federation. We've been working with GIS over the past sort of six months or so, um, developing the app and, and putting it into market. So, yeah, I'll be joining GIS as Chief um, Customer Officer, uh, building relationships with UK retail, um, building the propositions and solutions to help us. Um, build a stronger technology within retail, uh, grow sales, um, and, and the small businesses giving them a big voice. Absolutely. Um, I won't disclose my source, but I was told that you were the best thing to happen to the NFR in, in quite a while. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I have no, absolutely no doubt that you'll be a fantastic success at GISP. And of course, yeah, I mean, I think both the fact that you were working closely with GISP at the NFRN and Anthony Begley had done uh, a, a couple of pieces, I think, in um, in SLR that I was aware of GISP. And then actually when I got to speak to Ilan and I understood the proposition, I was just like, wow, this seems like a complete no brainer. Like why? Yeah, this is a great platform. Is there for anybody who is watching this and doesn't know who GISP are, could you kind of give us a couple of headlines? Oh, there you go. You already tested me. Um, so just, yeah, yeah, mobile, pla <laughs> yeah, just mobile platform, um, which very much is sort of been promoted as offering home delivery, click and collect and scan and go solutions uh, for small businesses in the UK. Um, they have got propositions across Europe that's, that's in flight. Um, but more formally in the UK, it's been known as a you know, home delivery, click and collect, scan and go solution. Um, and with the Federation, um, and, you know, it started about just over a year ago, the conversations with GISP and straight away, I recognized in, in conversations with Ilan and the team that, wow, what, what technology they've got um, and what a fantastic opportunity it is for small businesses. Now, you know, no one could, you know, have known that the, the COVID pandemic would have created such a storm in terms of um, an explosion of technology for retailers, ways to engage with consumers, um, offering home delivery and click and collect. And we've seen many entities that have propped up in the in the, in the the sector, um, but it was a kind of no-brainer uh, in talking with the guys and helping develop that proposition that actually this was going to be the right one for independent retailers, for small businesses. Um, and of course, you know, that meant that um, the Federation could move that forward, validate it, 
um, and bring that to market. Um, and obviously, since then, it's, it's going from strength to strength, which is fantastic news. Yeah, just I uh, just want to call out some of the, the comments that we've got here. So we've got Andrew Johnson, who says, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon Andrew. Um, and, and a name I haven't spoken to in ages um, says, best of good fortune to you, Greg. Um, oh, and we've just had one in from, from the big man himself. He's uh, most very kind. His family. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, there's no, um, no pressure when the big man's watching as well. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so so when, do, when do you start? Um, so, yeah, I start on February the 1st. Um, which is which is great. So I've got a couple more weeks of homeschooling with my daughter, um, and then supply teacher. My wife will come back into situ from February, <laughs> so she's really looking forward to that. Um, I'm not sure my daughter is actually. I think I'm an easier teacher than my wife. Um, so yeah, really got a couple of weeks. Um, you know, certainly be talking with Ilan and the team, um, get myself readied, and then yeah, hit the ground running from February the first, and can't wait. So I'm guessing they must have plans to grow this year. Yeah, this I, think, I think hiring someone like yourself. <laughs> well, that's very kind. Um, I think they've got huge ambitions, um, and, and clearly that excites me in terms of what can be achieved here in the UK through convenience and through small stores. And obviously, I've been, you know, extremely passionate about small business here in the UK and the Republic of Ireland not just during my time at the Federation, but before that in, in working in more sort of a corporate brand environment. Um, and I think that's really exciting for both the retailers, um, for GISP and the brands that will be working with GISP going forward um, that can connect consumer with shop um, outside the, the bricks and mortar space. So, you know, I, I think there's, there's huge growth opportunity in convenience. Um, and I think that's a sort of priority and then moving forward, we'll look at more food to go, um, more hospitality and supporting those guys. Um, they've had it hard, of course. Um, but, you know, th there's a huge um, headroom in convenience and bringing the best proposition to independent retailers um, to provide them with the, the solutions that they need and equipping their store with a way to make money um, going forward. I'm sorry, in case you can hear in the background, Emma's jumping on the sofa. <laughs> she's, she's, she's not going to fall off. Um, we've had a message here from Susan Conley. Good morning, Susan. You will do a great job, Greg. Highly recommend this. Yeah, I, I remember talking to Susan a few times actually over it and sort of trying to persuade her not only to join the Federation, um, but obviously to get involved with GIF. So I think there can be many retailers out there that I know. Um, and I'm sure a lot of them are already using GIF. Hopefully more will, will come on board in time. Um, and I'll be excited to work with all of those guys, of course. Great. And if you could just help some of my local retailers uh, have GIS, that would be great. Because on the Isle of Wight, home deliveries are very far and few to come by. So <laughs> you've got okay, a bit we, of a Yeah, you've already, okay, so you've already, Ilan will be writing that down, I'm sure. How do we win on the Isle of Wight? So that would be one of the first tasks. Um, help Kate get home delivered solutions. Actually, where I live in Tring in Harbourshire, um, yeah. there is a lack of gifts. So I need to get that sorted too. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, is there is there anyone you want to give a shout out to from previous life or one coming up? Um, and yeah. what, what kind of support do you think you're you're going to be looking for from from people within within the convenience network? Well, I think the convenience network's always been very kind to me, actually, um, through my tenures with both News UK, Telegraph and Camelot, um, and then more recently with the Federation. So, you know, I've built some very brilliant friendships, actually, um, some great contacts. Um, I think, you know, retailers recognise I'm always, I'm always honest, um, I'm always approachable, always trying to do the best job for them. Um, and joining the Federation gave me a fantastic insight into their lives um, more deeply than I would have been from a brand perspective. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping that those guys will want to work with GISP um, for the reasons that GISP is a fantastic proposition um, for them, not just because Greg Deacon's there. Um, if it helps, then fantastic, but I want them to recognize GISP for the value that can bring to a retailer, giving them a big voice um, in a sector where, you know, it is fragmented and diverse and there are other opportunities for them, of course. But commercially, this is a fantastic entity 
that can do great things. Um, and I look forward to working with retailers. I look forward to working with the brand partners again um, and continue that journey of empowering small shots with a big voice. Great. And in, and in the same breath, uh, we're stupidly excited to be have the opportunity to be working with you again. When we heard the news that you'd left the NFRN, it was like, oh, no. <laughs> but actually... You've, you've, you're still in the circle, so this is this is absolutely great news. Hopefully, yeah. I still get to Ireland too. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Ireland will want his airtime, and, and look, I think it's great that I'm staying in the retail sector and the channel that I love. I'm really mm. passionate about, um, and there's so much there's so much to do with convenience stores, which is really exciting actually, and you know. Technology will continue to evolve. I think retailers are ready for it now. I think COVID accelerated that probably 10 years, whereas other sort of digital propositions have kind of come and failed. Um, some have, you know, have done well. Um, but I think now there's going to be an explosion of opportunities for small stores as brands recognise the role that they play going forward. Um, and I think, you know, propositions like C-Talk help, you know, get that story out there to more retailers who can become better versions of themselves uh, and, uh, you know, we can we can all do fantastic business moving forwards. Fantastic. Thank you. And thanks for giving us some of your time on a Saturday. Um, although if if your days are anything like mine, it's just like Groundhog Day. Every day is the same. We're not going out anywhere. <laughs> We're not doing anything different. No, uh, well, I'm going to I'm going to eat about a ton of gingerbreads now. So. Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. It's my son's birthday, actually, this weekend. He's going to be four. Oh. So. It's a bit of a celebration of Deacon household this weekend. Um, we'll eat too many sweets, too much chocolate, gingerbreads, uh, and probably play with tons of Lego, I'm sure. That sounds awesome. Emma turns for next next month, uh -huh. so we've probably been through the same process. It's all starting yeah. primary school in September. It's just gone way too quick. How many kids do you have? Uh, I have two. So I've got a daughter who's eight, going on 16 um and, and that's the one <laughs> so luckily my son's back at nursery but we've been homeschooling Maya so yeah two kids full on and um, they're making a lot of noise upstairs but they've been very good to daddy letting him do this this morning live um but yeah look forward to uh you know been great spending time with them but looking forward to get back into swing of things on February the 1st great well good luck with the homeschooling before February the 1st and um yeah stupidly excited to be working with you after February and have a great weekend Thanks, Kate. Take care, everybody. Thank you. you.